Today we're going to be taking a look at three different request libraries in JavaScript. We're only going to be looking at the basics and comparing them. So the first request library we have is request and it is uh, server sided. We're currently in node to install it. You are just going to do npm install request. There we go. And I've prepared an example. We uh, import request, get the data from JSON placeholder. JSON placeholder is just um, a test API. So we're going to get users from their test API. Then we get the response. So we get an arrow response and the body. Um, and then we're going to use console.table, which is going to show it out and print it out in a nice way. So print out the table with all of the users. Remember to take the body and pass it because it is not an object, it is a JSON string. And if we run it, we actually have to hit save. So there we go. We're gonna getting the index, the name, the username, the email, the address, the phone number, and the website. And we could then work with this data. This print table is just a way of formatting it. If you want to see the actual, like just the raw output, I can also show you that. There we go. And the raw output looks like that. Okay, so that was the first library. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one we're going to be taking a look is Axios. You install it the same way, npm install Axios. It is also server sided, so we are in Node still. So it works pretty similar. Get the data from JSON placeholder. We just do axios.get the same URL. Then we get a promise. So we're going to do dot then. We're just going to get a response. And this uh, response has a data object. And the data is passed in here. So it is a JavaScript object. And then it's just the same way. So it works very similar. And then we have a catch down here, which just shows our print error. And if we run it, we get the same thing. And the raw JSON is going to look the same. Let's take a look at Axios on the client side. Okay, so now we are in the front end. So the way you use uh, Axios here is you use UNPKG and then you just import it like a normal uh, script in the HTML. And then I have a pretty simple table. So it doesn't really matter about how I'm showing you all this data. It's just to visualize it for you guys. So you could obviously make it whatever way you want it. So this code, this is a bit more complicated. So I will go through it. Windows.onload. So we just wait for the website to be ready. Then we do the exact same thing. We do get. But here we also have to specify that it's a get method. Then we do dot then. And we get the response. We put the users in this variable. And that's just for more convenient. We could just have used it from here. Then we create an HTML table. Then we put in the headers or the title of the HTML table. Then we go through each user and we create a row and we add all of the user data to the table. And then we append this table to the body. And if there's any error, we're going to be console logging them. Okay. And let me show you in the browser how it looks. And it looks like this. So it's very similar to the console and it's dragged out and you could do whatever you want with this data. So let's take a look at the next library. The next library is actually a built-in library. It is fetch. Fetch is a built-in library in the front end. So it's a client-sided library and it's built into the browsers. So it's very convenient. And if you don't want to add any overhead, then fetch is really good. It works a bit funny, but the same, we wait for the website to be ready. Uh, fetch, we specify a get method, and then we get the users. We do now, here's where it's a bit annoying, and why I would actually use Axios instead of fetch. It's just a bit annoying. You do dot then, and then you get the response dot JSON, and then you have to dot then that again, which is, I think, pretty bad design. And then you get the users. And then it works exactly the same as I just explained. Create the table, insert it, go through each user, add it. And if there's any error, it will show up down here in the console. And it looks exactly the same. So that was three different libraries. And Axios are showed both on client and on server-sided. So what is the best one? 
that's really up to you guys. I have just been showing you these three. The one I like the best for server-sided is Quest. And the one I like best for client-sided is Fetch. Because it's already built in and I don't need to add anything or think about it. It's a bit annoying that you have to do a lot of that dense. But other than that, it works very well. I have never used Actuals. But it, I think it looks like a pretty good library. It does. And it is both client and server-sided. So if you both work on client and server-sided, it will be the same way you make the request, which is kind of nice. Hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.